Tim Labonte here in the test kitchen uh, where we're going to be doing some chicken thigh croquettes. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to just mix our ingredients and then I'm going to talk you through the rest of it. Um, in this mixing bowl you have one egg, there's about a half a cup of uh, cream cheese that's whipped, I got a teaspoon of mustard powder, um, a teaspoon of Dijon mustard and about half a cup of shredded queso blanco. So to this I'm gonna add some chopped fire braised chicken thighs, diced red onion. I'm just gonna go right down the line here rather quick. Some fresh chopped cilantro, some diced celery. Oh, now it's getting good. A little bit of oil. So this is honey. Let's see if it takes under five minutes to get out of this. And then this has a mixture of uh, Frank's Red Hot Sauce in conjunction with white balsamic vinegar. So this, we're just gonna mix it all together just to make sure that the egg and um, the cream cheese is well incorporated with all the other ingredients. It would be rather difficult to put it through the breading procedure, which is flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs right now because it's loose. So I am going to add a little bit of panko, little Japanese breadcrumbs, just to tighten it. And always go by the concept or the, the thought process of you can always add more, but you can't take it out. So be that way when you're uh, working with breadcrumbs because if you do mess up, and you're doing a big batch recipe and you add too many breadcrumbs, then you just kind of like have chicken crouton balls and it's you know, not necessarily something that you want to serve to your customers. So again, you can always add more. So these are, this is basically the croquette mix that I've already brought in. Um, and basically it's the mixture that we just made and I formed it with a, a tablespoon, rolled it into little balls, and then I put it through a basic breading procedure. Basic breading procedure is uh, flour followed by egg wash and then finished with breadcrumbs. So I'm gonna take these over to the fryer. I'm gonna fry them at 300 degrees um, until golden brown. This won't take long, that's why I'm frying it at 300 rather than your typical 350 degrees because if you fry it at a high temperature, the outside coating is gonna get golden brown much faster than the interior warms up. So you just wanna find that happy medium. Oh, so these are perfect. So we're gonna serve this with, uh, this is just basically green onion and smoked paprika sour cream. So it's just, as I said, it's sour cream with scallion slivers, smoked paprika, a little salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. 